thank you very much, Thad. Now Tuesday means it's time for Karen and Gerard Iglesia from Primetime 585 to shine a spotlight on a team that deserves your attention. Today it's a squad looking to do something no city school has done since 1980. Our spotlight team of the week is the East High baseball team. East racked up four wins in the past week and are the only undefeated team left in Section 5. They're seeking to become the city's first Section 5 champion since Jefferson High School. East defeated Edison for the RCAC championship last Monday and also got wins against Bloomfield, Brighton, and Palmac. It really starts on the offseason, putting okay. in the work just grinding, just never giving up. We were here six in the morning, five in the morning, waking up early, putting in work in the gym, hitting fall league, like it really starts there. Like just believing that we could win. Our motto is uh, confidence and not cockiness. And I think that's what you're seeing from them. You're seeing a lot of confidence. Um, yeah, like we intentionally scheduled a much more challenging schedule mm -hmm. uh, this year and they're rising to the occasion every game. It's just confident, trust and like be a strong mentally. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we start a game like down and when we get energy we, like, we get back in the game. East is led by Miguel Matos who threw a two hitter against Brighton striking out 10. He also went four for four with two doubles. East has hitters in Mitchell Nieves, Justin Robertson, and Eric Chunky Jones, whose three-run double helped lead East to a 6-1 sectional win over Pal Mack. East will meet HFL on Wednesday in the Class A semifinals. Congratulations to Coach Kyle Crandall and the East High baseball team for earning the Team of the Week. In the words of Dr. Nelms, culture is contagious.